In this lesson, you will get a quick introduction into OData protocol, which is supported as well from uh, ALM Octane. In case you are looking to fetch data and don't want to invest too much effort for the data collection using REST API, OData is a great alternative, um, especially when you want to um, integrate with BI tools such as Microsoft Power BI or Click or Tableau. Uh, those support as well uh, OData protocol, so it's uh, very easy to integrate uh, with them using the OData protocol. But as you can see, I'm showing now here my URL area. I will show you an easy way even uh, to understand first the concept of OData and explore it a bit using uh, the browser. So you can use Firefox or Chrome. Both can uh, represent it in a more um, readable way. So let's um, look at the URL first, how the OData URL is defined. So you can see this is my server IP. This is my port. And I'm on the shared space 1001 and 1002 is my workspace. So basically, uh, we support two versions, version 4 and version 2 of OData. So after your server and port, you enter OData slash v4 um, slash shared underscore spaces slash the ID of your shared space, which in my case will be uh, 1001 workspaces slash and the ID of your workspace, which in my case will be 1002. So let's see how it looks like when I'm doing an um, OData query on the browser. So I open a new tab and now I will just trigger this. Let's say I go for V4 and the rest should be fine. And now I can see this is basically what I get. So first of all, it shows me all the different collections which are here. So you can see attachments, CI builds, defects, APICs. So basically, more or less all the entities, or majorly the entities which are supported by ALM Octane. And now you can directly refer to those entities. So you can refer now to defects. So let's say defects enter and now the browser will represent it in a more readable way so you can see here i have different entity entries for the defects which are represented here um, i can collapse them as well so i go to the next entry and on the entry i have here on the top first of all the relations which exist on this entry yeah? so this is also something which is important uh, to see um, how you can refer to uh, the relations of those entities. So you can see here, uh, I can just add um, slash priority after having a defect with the ID uh, 3032 slash phase, and I will get the phase for this special, uh, for this defect. And on the bottom, you can see all the property which are directly on that defect without referring to other uh, entities um, and resources so they are represented as flat items like the name which is directly represented on this entity of or data on on this query while as for the priority i need to now navigate further so let's see i would like to uh, read the uh, um, defect with the id 30 uh, 3032. So basically, I need to do it like this quotation 3032. So now I only see here one defect. And from here, I can easily say phase. It will show me the phase, which is this defect is closed. Let me see its priority. Priority is high. Let's say we would like to know the release. The release is here. We have the start date, the due date we should have as well. The description end date we have here, where's the name? 
so this release is in the name of the release is here aos 1.0 that's also represented or well, let's look also as one more severity is urgent so this is a very nice way to use uh, all data you can integrate it uh, with excel with power bi uh, or other bi tools and it makes things easier to work with